I was born on the 13th of July of 1969, and right there, right then, within days, boom, we put a foot on the moon. For this day, I'm not putting a foot on the moon, but if anything, I'm getting closer. In this project, I had all my research and development team, but this project was led by Charisse Dickens. But she took this project as her own project. He had just asked if I was interested in helping him create a menu for space. It kind of took a few days for me to really absorb what that meant, not just for me as an individual, but for what it would mean for Jose to have this, uh, this really, really unique opportunity. And trying to push the Pundaris in partnership with Axiom in what we can do above the clouds. I wanted to play an homage for traditional cooking around the world. So the dish we chose was paella valenciana. We really hit the drawing board. What is actually going to be good to send to space? It was pretty challenging to, to be sure that you met all of those NASA guidelines. Food scientists think a lot about nutrition. They think a lot about calories. As a chef, my goal is to meet your palate's expectations for food. So here, what we did is the spirit of Paella Valenciana, and we made kind of a stock with ingredients. So this is cooked at a very high pressure. Yes, high pressure, but um, it has to reach commercial sterilization, which is uh, 252 degrees. This is like the traditional Paella. You did it. <laughs> we did oh, it. You're from Valencia? No, you're from Hawaii. Hawaii. The traditional way that families still to this day will eat that paella is when that paella is in the middle of the table, believing in longer tables, believing in sharing, believing that we are all part of the same planet and eating that paella from the same pan the paella was cooked on. It's not that like brilliant. When good chefs work on dishes, we know the dishes, they're gonna be good. This paella valenciana, I'm so proud because it's gonna be eaten I'm tall for first time ever. Astronauts from different countries and nationalities and backgrounds, and they are all going to be eating at once paella valenciana. And this makes me so very proud. To me, an astronaut equals freedom because you are in the universe. It's like, it's no boundaries. And so don't tell me this doesn't look good. Nice. This is super nice. Look at it. Tradition, planet Earth, what the astronauts will eat. Hey, I think we've done a good job here. Some people are gonna be saying, before we send people to the stars, we shouldn't be fixing every problem in planet Earth. I think it's the contrary. I think by dreaming that we can be sending humans to far beyond the stars one day is also what can help us solve many of the problems that we see on Earth today, and that's why I love this mission. If a young cook like me, that uh, why I began cooking with my father when I was seven or eight, and I will look at the moon and the stars, and I will dream that one day I may be up there, well, 40 something years later, it's about to happen. It happened, wow, dream it, because it may happen, work hard, and will happen.